finding maybe some support underneath you. Just to lift your hips up a bit. I'm gonna sit onto this carpet, or carpet. <laughs> this rolled up blanket and crossing your legs, relaxing through your knees, the lower half of your body, and then <sighs> just start taking some nice deep breaths, roll the shoulders up and back and around a couple of times, just bringing some movement in. Right? I don't know what the day has been like for you so far. We're all on different time zones, which is awesome. So it might be later in the day and you might have a lot of tension in the neck and upper back. And so maybe that feels nice to just bring some movement, some fluidity into it. And then when it feels nice, just soften and relax. Relax through the neck, let your eyes start to close, get any wiggles and jiggles out so then we can just sit here in stillness in our supported seat. And then finding that stillness, bring your awareness to the space between your eyebrows and just start to dive inside of your internal landscape, your body, and observe what's going on. Observe what's going on and what's presenting itself for you right now. And practicing the observer's mind where we just notice and we name, but we refrain from judging. We refrain from any positive or negative. It's just a space of neutrality. And so as you notice maybe judgments of, or trying to figure out why you feel that way, like, oh yeah, I'm tightening my neck because of, just notice that, right? Smile at it with like that playful observation and let it go. And then just notice something else. So you're able to become aware and move on and become aware and smile at it in a way to acknowledge, right? The way that the mind can drift sometimes. But then just knowing that you are in control here and you can just, as quickly as that thought came in, you can quickly redirect your thought back to just a neutral place, a place of non-judgment and a place of love and compassion for yourself. And so notice maybe physical sensations, naming tightness, tension, whatever. But then maybe notice emotional or energetic sensations. Awake, tired, lazy, this is hard. <laughs> right? Maybe notice more of the emotional side of things of you know happy or sad or excited or you know mellow. Right? The, what we think of as negative emotions are just as important as the good ones. And a nice mindfulness practice is just naming feelings and noticing kind of what is really surfacing for you in the moment, naming all those things. But then it's pretty cool to watch how you start shifting past those quote negative thoughts or feelings. And you notice that beneath the layer of whatever is surfacing is actually the opposite. So the other day I did this and it was a lot of like scared, sad, worried, nervous. And then like five minutes later, I was saying things in my mind like excited, courageous, happy. <laughs> so it all lives inside. Sometimes one is more prevalent than the other, prominent than the other. And it's always there. So just with love and compassion and that playful observation, notice. And just know that you have chosen to dedicate time to yourself <clears throat> to kind of equal yourself out, to level yourself out, right? to revisit this place of neutrality and kind of lead with love. And so let's start to breathe together. So wherever you are in your breath cycle, open mouth, exhale the air out of the body. Get empty, 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 and then breathe in through your nose. Fill all the way up with the deepest breath in yet today. Hold it at the top. <clears throat> and then an open mouth exhale and just sigh it out. <sighs> Relax the shoulders, feel your chest rest. And once you feel empty, inhale again through the nose, feeling your belly, fill into your ribs, feel your spine grow tall, like a growing spring tulip all the way up to the crown of the head. And then an open mouth exhale, just release, sink heavy into your hips. 
Relax through the arms, your fingers, your thumbs. <clears throat> and then another full breath. Feeling every little crevice of your lungs all the way to the top, feeling like you're expanding the whole front body, lengthening the whole back body. Hold the breath. Relax your shoulders, sip up a little more air. And then open mouth, exhale, let it go. And then squeeze more air out, get emptier. Emptier, emptier, emptier. And then let breath fill you up naturally. And empty you out whenever it feels good. Let breath be, let it happen without any control of your own. And see if you can think about your breath, watch your breath without controlling or manipulating it. Just notice it. And then relax a little heavier into your hips and your feet, sinking against the earth and the support beneath you. Softening the facial muscles. Let's bring our palms together now in front of our heart center. And then drop your head down so you're diving into that heart space and take a moment to set an intention for yourself. Just a word or a phrase. Something to help support these more prominent feelings, emotions. Leading with love. Repeat this in your mind a few times, letting it be the only thought present inside. And I'll remind you of this intention throughout our practice today. We'll release our hands down, lift your head back up, and you can flutter the eyes open. Staying seated on the support, let's reach our arms all the way up just for a big stretch. Reaching your arms up and then inch a little side to side so you feel the side body get a little longer. And then pause there, straight spine. Start to feel your tailbone lengthen down into the support beneath you so you feel that low back release a bit of that curve. Full breath in, and as you exhale, release your right hand, <clears throat> your left hand down. Walk your fingers out, so your left fingers walk out in a straight line out from that hip. Spread those left fingers wide as you land them. Push into that hand and reach out and over through those right fingers. Now, relax that right shoulder away from the neck. Note if it's, if it's really shrugging up here. <clears throat> so just roll it back. And at the same time, press into that left hand and feel your heart center lift forward. So you're lengthening your spine and just creating this nice curve through the whole left side and expansion around the whole right. Take a nice deep breath in right here. And as you exhale, start to reach that right hand down towards the floor. Keep rooting out of that left hand and reach like someone's pulling you. Maybe tap your fingers on the earth and then inhale and open back up and look up at the same time. And then exhale, press out of that left hand, round the back and reach out through that right hand. <clears throat> inhale and open. Exhale and round. Inhale, open and lift all the way up, both arms. Good. Exhale, release your right hand down officially. Walk those fingers out, fingers wide. Press into that right hand, feel the left hip root first, so you keep yourself in your foundation rooted. Then we breathe beat deeply into that left rib cage and then actively start to reach over. Reaching like someone is pulling you, but notice if that shoulder shrugs up. So roll that shoulder back, free the space around your whole neck and throat, right? Even if your arm is reaching up more than over, right? Rather have that straight active arm and free your throat than squeeze any compression around that area. Relax that right shoulder as well, rolling that down the back. Now, full breath in to that whole left side. As you exhale, press into that right hand on the earth and reach out through those left fingers, almost maybe tapping the earth if that feels available. Inhale and open it back up. Full breath, look up. Exhale, round, reaching, and root. Three R's. Inhale and open. Exhale, root, round, and reach. Woo! And then inhale all the way up. Feels really good. Both arms up. As you exhale, twist to your right. Drop those arms down. Now bring your right hand behind you. If your support is really high, then just hover that hand above the earth. Use your left hand to help with kind of a little pressure to lift your spine. And then exhale, little pressure of that left hand on the knee to twist you. Not only that, but your core is tight here. So every inhale, feel the core muscles help you to elongate. Every exhale, engage that belly and twist, relax those shoulders. One more time. Try to relax your knees and your hips here. Use the upper half of your body and that strength to get you there. Now, both arms up, full breath, reaching tall out of the seat. 
Exhale, twist over to your left and drop your arms down. Right hand on the left knee. Relax those knees and your hips. Full breath, lift your spine. Exhale, gaze back and twist back behind you. Keep rooting your right hip down here. Notice how that hip will lift, right? You may be leaning into that left hip. So maybe lean a little bit more into the right. Last full breath in and out as you're twisting. And then both arms all the way up, reaching up nice and tall. Hands to your heart as you exhale. Think about that intention. Release yourself off of the support from underneath you and still sitting in a cross-legged position. Sukhasana is the pose in Sanskrit, the ancient language. Remove the bits out from under you, crossing your shins and push your shins a little out in front of you so that the shins are almost parallel to the front of the mat. Hands by your hips, lift the spine. Reach your arms up, palms face each other, drop the shoulders. Take a breath, lengthen higher, and then exhale, start to fold forward and go about halfway. Once you're there, roll the shoulders back into their sockets, and then inhale, pull your heart forward, and pull through the crown of your head like there's a string there, and then exhale, fold a little bit more, and pause. A little bit of strength, a little bit of stretch. Deep breath in, heart pulls forward. Exhale, squeeze that belly in and lower all the way down to the floor. Let your hands land, palms down, and relax your head. Start breathing and moving. Sway a little side to side if that feels good for you. Relaxing your head left to right. Or maybe stillness feels better. Observe what feels better for you right now. There's no right or wrong. And just bring your breath with you wherever you go. Try to nourish every little tight spot in your body with spaciousness in your, from your oxygen. From the inhale, you create space, you create expansion, and with the exhale, you create ease and effortlessness. So soften somewhere with that exhale. Take one more breath. Exhale, heavy body, heavy head. Now engage your belly, let your hands slide on the floor and roll all the way up to a seat. <clears throat> roll the shoulders up, roll them back, sweep your arms up, full breath in, hands to your heart center as you exhale. Intention in your mind and release your hands. Let's come to child's pose. So on your knees, if you want any um, blanket support under your knees, go for it. Big toes are gonna touch, heels move away from each other as you nest your hips between them, knees are wide, and then reach your arms forward. Rest your forehead onto the floor, rock your head a little left to right, and then deeper breaths. You can even tent your fingertips here to keep your forearms and elbows lifted so you're a little bit more active if you want to, or Maybe your energy is feeling a little low, right? So rest your forearms, rest your elbows, relax your shoulders, and just enjoy the opportunity to do nothing here for a second. Let's do about three more breaths and just soften into your hips. Notice how there's some tension and maybe some resistance in the hips where they're like, no, we don't want you to go any further. See if you can relax there and surprise yourself on an area that finds ease. Last big breath. <clears throat> And then we'll lift up to your table. Ah, come to your knees. So bringing those knees underneath your hips, tops of the feet are flat, fingers are spreading wide. You can align your index finger parallel to each other and the outer edge of your mat. And with that movement, start to feel your forearms spiraling away from you to the outer edges of the mat. So you feel your inner elbow rotate forward. And then you feel the outer upper arm rotating back. You feel that shoulder rotate back as well. So rather than the shoulders shrugging forward, you start the spiral from your wrists and roll the shoulders back. Feel like a turtle coming out of its shell as the crown of your head reaches forward. <clears throat> now from here, exhale everything out as you round your spine into a cat pose. Tuck your tailbone and bring your chin all the way to your chest. As you inhale, drop your belly. Separate the sit bones behind you. Let those inner elbows rotate forward and pull your heart forward. Look all the way up. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine, push everything, your feet, your shins, your knees into the floor. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly. Now keep going at your own pace with your breath. Let the breath help you to move from posture to posture. So the breath, the breath initiates the movement, movement follows. Exhale, then we move. We're empty in the full expression of the pose. Inhale, the movement follows. Exhale, movement follows. One more time, full round in and out. Exhale, 
push everything into the floor chin all the way to your chest and then tabletop curl those toes push back hips to heels move a little left and right <clears throat> excuse me and then feel the heat or stretching sensation right do the naming thing name what's going on right what are you feeling use different words heat or right i just said heat again because we can't think of anything else <laughs> okay let's lift up on your table untuck your toes tap those feet on the floor <clears throat> left foot is or left knee staying down extend your right leg back push that heel back for a sec feel that stretch and then swivel that right heel down to the floor so you can look to see that maybe your left toes and your right heel are arching one line. Activate that right leg and then inhale, float your right arm all the way up. <clears throat> so we're messing with balance here a little bit. If you hear sirens, there's a police car outside, so it'll pass. Start to feel your tailbone lengthen towards that right heel. Really activate and root that right heel down. Push through the top of your left foot. And if you feel too teeter-tottery here, just swivel that left heel off of your mat. Press down through the top of the foot wherever you go. Now start reaching your right arm forward all the way. So you start to feel that nice side body stretch. Full round of breath in and out. Maybe looking up, <clears throat> maybe looking down. Good. Now full breath in. As you exhale, reach your right arm down towards the corner of your mat. Keep pushing out of that right heel and the left hand. And then inhale, open it back up. Reach this right arm all the way up. And then forward, exhale, roll, round, reach. Open it back up, arm all the way up. Last one, exhale forward, rotate, right hand taps. Inhale and open. Good, pause here. Come onto the inner arch of that right foot, lift the leg. Good, beautiful. And then extend that right arm forward again. Full breath in. As you exhale, bend your elbow and the knee and crunch. Engage your core, <clears throat> inhale and extend. Exhale and crunch, elbow on the knee, knee and tap. Inhale, reach. Last one, exhale. Inhale, reach, pause, right arm goes back up. So if you think about it, we're kind of in a supported half moon pose right here. So just think about the outer right leg, lifting that leg higher. So those muscles on the outer leg helping you to lift it. The leg is straight and strong and active, right arm is active. And you're stacking right shoulder on top of the left, right hip on top of the left, take a breath. And then right foot down, right hand down, find your tabletop. If you want a cat and cow, go for it. I always like to do cat and cow as transition. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna switch sides here, but we're gonna keep your right knee down, left leg extends back. Push back just to start, feel a little stretch there. And then find your hands, your foundation, push to the top of that right foot, swivel that left heel down, keep rooting down into your foundation and reach this left arm all the way up. Good. Activate from that left foot first. So push that left foot down. Feel that whole left leg engage. Feel your tailbone lengthen towards that heel. Feel this lower belly even lifting up to your chest. Your left shoulder is on top of the right. Left hip feels like it's on top of the right. And then when you're ready, left arm extends all the way forward. And as you're doing that, let your left side kind of puff up towards the ceiling. So push out of that right knee, right hand, and breathe. Good. Beautiful, guys. Now free your throat. Notice if your chin is at your chest. Push the back of your head back. Take a breath. As you exhale, round the spine. Tap your left fingers towards the corner of your mat. Reaching out so you feel that stretch to the left side back. Inhale and open. Exhale and tap. <clears throat> Inhale and open, arm all the way up. Exhale forward and tap. Reaching out. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale forward and tap. Inhale up, pause, left arm straight up, arms to a T. Come on the inner arch of that left foot. <clears throat> Find your balance here, pushing to the top of that right foot, and then flex those left toes, toes pointing towards the left side of the mat, and we're balancing. Now reach your left arm forward, full breath in. Exhale, elbow on the knee, meet, and tap. Inhale and extend. Exhale and crunch. Inhale and extend, last one. Exhale. Inhale, reach, pause here. Just this left arm goes up, and now we're in a supported half moon. Feel the outer left leg lift that leg higher. How high can it go? Even higher. Take another breath, and then left foot down, left hand down. Find your table top. Cat cow. 
and then curl your toes, step your hands back towards your heels, and then we're gonna flip your palms up facing your body. Just bring a little pressure there into the tops of those wrists, spread your fingers really wide, feel the sensations in the palms, right? Name them. Once again, I feel heat. <laughs> All right, and then shake it out one at a time. Shake, shake, shake. Plant your hands forward again, and then we'll lift up for our downward facing dog. So lift those knees, lift your hips, push into your hands, press your chest to the thighs, and then start moving a little bit here. Walk your dog, bend one knee, drop the opposite heel, and as you do that, press out of your hands to push that heel down, and then switch. Keep feeling your tailbone lengthen up higher behind you. So you're constantly feeling that pull almost at the top of your hamstrings, right? So it becomes a nice back of the leg stretch, posterior stretch. <sighs> Relax your head, sigh it out, whatever feels good for you. And then we'll find stillness in your downward facing dog. Feet hip distance, little micro bend in your knees, tailbone reaching up, hug the core in, relax your head. Full breath in. Heels start to reach down just a centimeter more, turning on the stretch in the backs of the legs. Another full breath. Sigh it out. And then look at your feet. Step your hands backwards to your feet. All the way there. Once you're there, hands on your shins, look halfway up. Exhale and fold forward. Hang out. Grab opposite elbows. Sway side to side. Left to right. Couple breaths. Shake yes and no. Tune into the sensations in the backs of your legs, the back body, your spine, your neck, your head. And then drop those arms. Slowly come to standing, rolling all the way up, pushing away from your feet to rise. Roll the shoulders up, swoop your arms up. Big breath in, hands to your heart as you exhale, intention in that mind. Full round of breath in. Exhale, release your hands, swoop your arms all the way up here. Now we're going to grab your left wrist. I'm going to face my back to you, okay, because this is hard to talk about opposites when I do opposites. So grab your left wrist. You're going to bend your knees, bring your weight over to your right, and swoop your left foot behind. Tap your left toes on the floor, bend that knee a little bit, and start to pull your left wrist over towards the right. Good. Take another breath. And then push away from that left foot. Whoop, come back to standing. And then grab your right wrist. Okay, you guys following me? Bring your weight over to that left foot, swoop the right leg back, toes land, your heel stays up. We bend both knees and we pull that right wrist over. Deep breath in. Inhale, press up and switch. Exhale over. Inhale up and switch. Exhale over. Inhale one more round. Exhale. Last one, exhale, inhale to center, exhale, fold forward all the way down. Woo, I love that one. Inhale, lift halfway up, exhale, plant your hands, step the left leg back, drop the knee down, inhale, both arms up, push away from that right foot, keep your core tight, exhale, sink. Palms face each other here, take another breath. Exhale, fold forward, plant your hands, right leg go, or your hips go back, right leg goes straight. Deep breath here. Exhale, fold into it just a bit, two more breaths, half splits here. You can always use your blocks as well, my friends, okay? Your cans, your chicken stock, your blocks, books, what else? And then re-bend that right knee, plant your hands, curl your left toes, and you're gonna lift that knee, Swivel the heel to the floor and walk your hands over to that left foot. Straighten your right leg, your right toes are lifted. Now, walk your hands over to the outer left leg. Plant your left hand and reach your right arm all the way behind you. Start to point your, or drop your right toes to the floor, pressing the outer foot onto the earth. Take another breath, and then walk back to your right foot. Push out of the left, your right toes point forward, and then step back, find your plank pose. Woo, take a deep breath. Exhale, drop either to your knees or do your chaturanga. If you drop your knees, shift your weight forward, exhale, lower to the belly. Untuck your toes, inhale, keep your hands on the floor, lift, cobra. Exhale, fold, stay here. 
Let's bring our hands on the outside edges of your mat. Elbows flying high. Tops of the feet stay rooted. Push your pelvis down, belly's tight, and press up. Look up, reach up to the crown. Exhale, lower. One more time like that. Inhale, lifting. Pelvis down, belly's tight, open up. Exhale, lower. Curl your toes, press back to your knees or your plank, and then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Relax the head, deep breath in. Side out. Couple more. Always bring movement in if that feels good to you, feeling a little bit more fluid than stiff. And then we'll bend our knees, look at your hands, take one big step forward with both feet. Inhale and lift halfway up. Exhale and fold forward. Now left, or oh, sorry, right leg goes back. Drop that foot, drop the knee, untuck the toes, inhale, rise. Both arms pressing or reaching up, pushing out of that left foot. Full breath in, core is tight. Exhale, sink into it. Keep the top half of your body nice and strong here. One more breath. And then fold forward, plant your hands, move the hips back. Straighten those left toes up to the ceiling. Keep, you can always keep your left knee a little slightly bent here. If that hand is a little tight today, just notice it. Deep breath in, try to feel the tailbone reach back. Exhale, elbows can bend and we lower. Couple more here. One more. And then walking forward again. Curl those right toes, here we go, over to a side lunge. So walk your hands over to that foot, swivel your right heel down, walk it over, left leg goes straight, left toes are up, good. And then we walk our hands to the outer edge of this right leg, right hand stays, left arm reaches. Now see if you can drop your right toes down, push to the bottom of that foot, keep pressing out of your right hand, reach here, take a breath, and then exhale, come back. Walk back to these left toes, left toes forward, rotate on that right toe mound, and then left leg steps back. Find your plank. Take a deep breath. Exhale, chaturanga, shifting weight forward or knees down first, exhaling to your belly. Inhale, tops of the feet stay glued, we lift up. Exhale, lowering, curl your toes, press back to your knees, downward facing dog is where we meet. Deep round of breath. And then sigh it out. Another one. And then bending your knees, look at your hands, take a big step forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, drop your weight into your heels. Drop those hips low. Let your middle fingers graze the floor and then separate your feet about hip distance and then let's bring our elbows onto the knees. Clasp your hands here. Start to feel your tailbone lengthen and the crown of the head pull forward, your heart lengthens forward. Keep your core really engaged. Start to hover your elbows above your thighs and float your hands by your knees or your hips. <laughs> Deep breath in. Engage that belly as you exhale. Another one. And then arms come forward. Fold forward as you exhale, straightening those legs. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold, let's open up your feet as wide as the mat, toes point down, sink your hips low for a little low squat here, yogi squat, couple breaths. Just really opening up into our hips here, inner thighs, low back, side back, another full breath. Squeeze that belly in as you exhale. Plant your hands, push those hips up, toes point forward, they walk in a bit. Inhale, lift halfway again. Exhale, plant your hands, both legs. Step back, find your plank, pause here. Now we're gonna practice a side plank here. You can always choose to drop your left knee down first and find that same supported side plank. Otherwise, I'm gonna talk you through keeping both legs off the floor. So just the feet, outer edge of that left foot rotates down. Your right foot drops to the bottom of that foot in front of your left toes. And then we can circle this right arm all the way up. Pushing out of this left hand, lift higher with those hips. If you want to, feel a little more side body stretch, reach that right arm forward. Deeper breath. One more. You got it, exhale, find your plank pose. Pause. Shift over to the right. Outer right foot drops or your knees drop, knee drops. 
Left foot lands right in front of those right toes. We inhale this right left arm up. Deep breaths, pressing out of this right hand, outer left foot, right foot, and then reach that left arm forward. Deep breath. Just one more, you've got it. And then left hand comes down. Take a deep breath in, exhale, drop your knees or chaturanga all the way to the belly. Exhaling down, inhale, cobra. Glutes are tight, exhale, lower. Curl the toes, press to your knees. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. <sighs> Another one. Relax the head. <sighs> Good. Bring your big toes together. Lift your right leg up. Bend that right knee. Open up that right hip to stack on top of the right. Left. Goodness gracious. Feel your left heel pull down. Feel your right knee pull up. Good. Try to get your chest parallel to the floor here. Take another breath. Sigh it out. Straighten that right leg with a big breath in. Exhale, bring that knee forward to your nose. Drop that foot between your hands. Step your left foot in a bit. Find your warrior one stance. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend that right knee. Full breath in. Release your hands to the lower back, interlacing, clasp. Squeeze those shoulders. Full breath in. Fold forward as you exhale. Let the belly touch that right thigh. Gaze straight down at that right foot or even behind you, feeling your clasp hands pull up to the ceiling. Shoulders are pulling away from your neck. Neck feels super long. Left leg is really active here. Take another breath. Squeeze the belly in. And then inhale, lift back up. Beautiful. Keep the clasp. Lift up onto that left heel or onto your left toe mound. And then start to step that weight forward, that leg forward. <laughs> Push your weight out of this right leg, lift the left, and then slowly fold. Dipping your torso low, left leg is flying high. Hamstring on the left leg is lifting higher. Couple more breaths, keep squeezing your shoulder blades, maybe lift your hands away from the low back. One more breath, bend the right knee, find your warrior one legs. Inhale, release the hands, lift them up. Open your chest out to the left side, find your warrior two. Good. Now I'll face you here. Deep on a breath. Sink into that right knee. Always increasing the distance between your legs to keep this knee over the ankle here, okay? Feel your left shin push forward just slightly to take a little lock out of that knee. Right palm flips up. Reach forward. Inhale that right arm up and back. Left hand can graze. Just land gently on that left thigh. Or the back of your left hand can come to the low back. Dropping that left shoulder heavy. Full breath from that right hip crease. Up that right side. Reach back as you exhale. One more breath. And then inhale, come up. Warrior two, arms to a T. Now reach forward until you can't. And then right elbow comes to your thigh. Keep bending into your right knee. Good. And then left arm comes straight up to the ceiling. Beautiful. Now you can stay here, pressing that right elbow to the thigh to open up your chest, stacking your left shoulder on top of the right, feeling your hips push forward in front of you, feeling that tailbone grow longer down towards that heel. Good. If you want to go a little deeper, you can straighten this right arm. Fingers graze the inner ankle. You can also make a fist or find a block. Left arm can start to extend forward with your palm facing the floor. So we're coming to extended side angle pose. Just go where it feels good for your body and we'll do three more breaths. Maybe change your gaze. Soften the face. One more here. Lift that left arm up. Push away from that right foot. Push out of that heel. Straighten that right leg. Reverse your triangle pose. Right arm goes up and back. Left hand to the low back again if you want. Or raising that thigh. Inhale up. Rebend the knee, warrior two. Left hand to your hip. Bend into this left knee. Start to step forward. And here we go, balancing my friends, half moon pose. So you can find your support, whatever you want. Find it first and then bring the weight onto that right foot and lift that left leg. Thinking about your side plank here, right? Stacking everything, left on top of the right. 
When you want, that left arm can extend. You can use the outer left hip strength to lift you. Beautiful. We'll all meet here and I'll talk you through a different way to get into the pose on the other side. Now keep stacking, keep opening up your heart, keep lengthening your spine, feeling the pull through the crown of the head and back through that left heel. Couple more breaths. Soften your gaze. Stare at something to keep your focus. Maybe you're looking down or you're looking over to the side or even up to the ceiling. Then we're gonna bend that right knee back. Drop that left foot down. Woo, find your warrior two. Awesome, full run of breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down, both on the inside of your right foot. Lift that left heel up. Now move either that left heel to the left side of the mat or walk your right toes over to the right side of the mat. Take a breath, lift your heart forward. We're in lizard pose. And then drop your left knee down to the floor right where it is. Untuck those toes, take a full breath, heart forward. Exhale, maybe we drop the palms down and they come forward a little or your forearms can come down towards the floor. Just observe what feels good for you here. Okay, so just so you can see a little angle here. Hands are on the inside. We're trying to lengthen that heart, pulling the, lengthening the spine, and then maybe lowering. You don't have to go anywhere. Take about three more breaths. Soften the face, name what's happening, what you're feeling, lead with love. Okay, and then if you're not already, come back up onto your hands. You're gonna bring your right hand on the outer edge of that foot and start walking that foot over, okay? Keep walking that foot over all the way to the left side of your mat, okay? And then you can curl your left toes, lift the knee, come forward a little bit with that knee, then drop your right knee down to the floor. Finding your pigeon pose, right? Untuck those left toes, gaze back, see that your ankle, knee, and hip are in a line, and then drop this left hip to the floor. Take a deep breath, lift your heart forward, and then exhale, let your heart melt over that knee, over your thigh or your shin. Maybe your elbows come down or you don't go anywhere and your hands are just here, right? Listen to your body. The pose is not about getting down further. It's just about feeling the sensations and the stretch, right? So breathe into it. Name what you're feeling, right? Bodily sensations, emotions, whatever is arising for you. Trying to release any judgment on it, just a neutral notice. Couple more breaths here. Soften even more than you think you can. Last one. Good, and then we'll come back up onto our hands. Curl those left toes, lift the knee, and then push into your hands to lift all the way up to a three-legged dog. Lifting that right hip on top of the left, feel your left heel pull down to the floor, and then start doing some big circles. Right knee coming down towards your left knee, opening up and out. Move in the opposite direction when you want to, when you're ready. Other direction of the circle. Really exaggerate it. Scoop out that hip. Straighten that leg with an inhale. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath of breath in and out. Another one. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Big toes touch, inhale, left leg lifts. Left leg lifts, you only have one. Bend that knee, start to lift your left hip on top of the right, circling the ankle if you want to. Root that right heel to the earth, try to neutralize and find your shoulders parallel, your head heavy. Reach up through that left knee, down through that right heel, and then straighten that left leg as you inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose, round your spine. Drop that foot between your hands and then find your warrior one. Your right foot steps in just a bit, left knees bend and we rise. Palms face each other at the top, arms are in line with the ears and we sink deeper. Another big breath. And then release your hands, interlacing the opposite clasp behind your back. Clasp them, pull your hands down, squeeze those shoulders, take a breath. Exhale, fold. Keep your right glute tight. Your right leg is strong. Press into the left heel. Keep bending that left knee. Feel your hands pull up to the ceiling. Relax your head and neck. 
Squeeze the belly in. A few more breaths. Another one. Slowly lift back up. Beautiful. And then from here, lift onto that right toe. Lifting that right heel. Keep your hands clasped. Start to push this right foot, step this right foot forward. Let your torso lean into it. Let that right leg fly. Find your warrior three with a humble clasp. Few breaths here, staying strong. Feeling the crown of the head pull forward. The back of your skull presses up to the ceiling. So your neck is long. One more breath. And then bend that right left knee. <laughs> Drop your right foot down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Adjust your stance a little wider. More distance between the legs. Our chest is parallel to the right side edge of the mat. Our left knee bends. Beautiful. Left palm flips up, reach forward. Inhale that arm up. Right hand lands gently on that thigh. Left arm reaches back. Keep bending your left knee. That left knee will love to go straight here. And then maybe the back of your right hand comes to the low back to relax that shoulder. Another big breath. Reaching as you exhale. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. Beautiful. Now reach forward again. Left elbow, left thigh. Right arm up to the sky. Feel your tailbone lengthen to that heel, your right heel. Feel your hips push forward to where you're looking. Good, and if you want a little more, maybe bend that left knee a little more. Straighten that left arm. Right palm reaches, or the face is the floor, and arm reaches forward. Keep your right glute tight, hips pushing, maybe a fist on the earth, maybe gazing up. Steady breath. Couple more. One more here. Beautiful, guys. Inhale, right arm up. Push out of that left heel, lift. Keep that left knee bent, woo! Okay, now straighten it. <laughs> right hand lands behind you, left arm reaches all the way back, reversing a triangle pose, go for it, reach it back. Inhale, lift, woo! Rebend the knee now. Right hand to your thigh or hip. <laughs> Now start to press into, or bend into that right knee. Step forward, right? When you want, you can find your prop, either keeping your hand there and then lifting like we did the other side, right? Or try to go like a pendulum. Left arm goes forward. Weight goes into this left foot. We're reaching, we're lifting. So now we just find the balance on the standing leg. It's not about the full expression yet. We find the balance and then we activate that right leg, lifting it through the outer leg strength. And like a pendulum, we drop left hand towards the earth or the prop. And then when you're ready, right arm goes up. Keeping a steady gaze at something to help keep your balance. Start to stack everything right on top of the left. Lifting that right leg higher. A few more breaths. Roll the shoulders back till your spine grow longer, tailbone longer to the heel. One more breath, you've got it. And then left knee bends, right foot drops back. Woo, warrior two, full breath in. Cartwheel it down, exhale, both hands on the inside of your left foot. Lift that right heel so your hips are parallel to the floor. Now step that left leg out to the edge of the mat. Take a full breath in, your runner's low lizard lunge, <laughs> and then drop that right knee down. I'm tucking your toes. Full breath again, lengthening your upper back out of the hips, and then exhale, maybe the elbows bend. Maybe they don't. Maybe your hands just walk forward, and that turns on the stretch a little more. A few more breaths here. And then come back up onto your hands. We're gonna bring your left hand on the outside of your left foot and keep walking your left foot over towards the right. Now you can curl your right toes, lift the knee, move it in a little bit. And your left ankle can come down towards that right knee a little to then drop that left knee out to the left edge of your mat. Once you find that, your front leg position, then increase the distance between your legs by curling your right toes and moving that knee back. 
Then once you feel good, untuck those left, uh, right toes. Gaze back to see your heel, your knee and hip are in one line. Sometimes our ankle likes to do the sickle thing. So try to root through the top of your foot, even if your ankle is off of the floor. Full breath in, lift your spine. And then exhale, let your heart melt forward. Finding your pigeon pose, you don't have to go anywhere, okay, listen. This is a big journey into your hips, really going deep. So be gentle. Feel that right hip drop down a little bit. Notice how that turns things on a little more. Use your breath to guide you to find that sense of ease. Right? Lead with love here. You may think about your intention. A few more breaths. And then come back up onto your hands. Spread those fingers wide. Curl your right toes, lift the knee. Push into your hands. Lift all the way up. Find your three-legged dog. Woo! And then do some circles. Move it all around. Feel that right heel stay rooted down towards the floor. Just focus on that left knee doing the big circle for your hip. Go in the opposite direction. Straighten that leg, exhale, find your downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, sigh it out. <sighs> Another one, big breath, maybe a roar. Stick your tongue out, go cross-eyed. <sighs> Good, bend your knees, look at your hands and step your feet to the outer edges of your wrists. Toes pointing out, even low yogi squat here, my friends. Second time, Ooh. elbows on those inner knees, palms touch. Full breath. Squeeze the belly in as you exhale. One more here. And then drop your hands. Use your hands behind you to support you coming down. Lower, bring your bottoms of your feet together. Butterfly a little bit, fluff those wings. And then inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, pull yourself forward. Elbows can open as wide as your knees, pressing down. And then thumbs can come on your arches, giving you a little massage. Start to inhale that heart forward. Exhale, squeeze your belly in. Couple more. Last one. And then lift up. Ooh, bring those knees together. Awesome. Let your legs go long. Have a seat in the middle of your mat. Swoop both arms up with a big breath. Exhale and fold forward. Let your hands land wherever feels good. Maybe just on the outer edges of those legs. And then lift one hip, move it back. Lift the other hip, move it back. It could be like a centimeter. And then inhale, lengthen that spine. Lift up through the heart, through the crown. Exhale, walk your fingers forward, squeeze that belly in and fold into it. Let your head be heavy and breathe. Let's do two more, that's it. And then engage your belly, let your core pull you all the way back. Reach those arms up towards your toes as you slowly roll one vertebrae at a time all the way to your back body. Awesome. Rest your hands, rest your whole body, take a breath. Open mouth, exhale. And then bend your knees. Bring your feet onto the floor. Remove any ponytail or anything that might be in your way underneath your head or on your head. <laughs> Plant those feet down, hands are by your hips, tickling your ankles maybe. And then press into your feet to lift your hips up, lift your spine up. Once you feel like you can't lift, grab the outer edges of your mat and spiral your arms underneath you, starting to tuck your shoulders underneath you, right? And then maybe release your mat, keep tucking. And then we can interlace your hands behind that back, underneath you, and press the arms and hands into the floor like a lever. Now feel your foundation in your feet really strong. Bring your weight over onto that left foot. And then inhale, lift that right knee up. 
Right leg extends up. Exhale, lower the leg about halfway so that the thighs become parallel. Use your mind's eye. And then inhale that right leg back up. Exhale, thighs parallel. Inhale, back up. Exhale, thighs parallel. And then let that leg go longer. Tap the heel onto the floor. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, heel taps the floor. One more time. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, tap the floor. <sighs> Inhale, up. Bend the knee, foot to the floor. Take a breath, revisit the bridge. Hang out here, notice the difference on your legs. Stay strong. Weight goes onto that right foot. Inhale, left leg up, up, up. Reach to the heel. Take a breath. Exhale, lower the leg halfway, thighs parallel. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower halfway. <sighs> Inhale, up. Exhale halfway and then all the way down. Tap that heel. Inhale back up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale up. Bend the knee. Plant the foot. Pause. Release your hands. Take a breath. Exhale lower your hips down. Tap the hips. Inhale back up. Exhale lower. Inhale back up. Exhale. Your palms can face each other here with your elbows bent. Exhale, up, last one, pause, hold it, take a breath, and lower, <sighs> beautiful, a little bit of last bit of heat, warming up, and strengthening those glutes, low back, legs, all of it. So as you can see, bring your knees in, rock a little side to side, maybe roll your wrists a little, that feels good. Reach those legs straight up to the ceiling now. Circle your ankles, reach your arms up, circle the wrists. Full breaths. Go in the opposite direction. Good. Squeeze your right knee in, interlace your fingers, lower that left leg onto the floor. Tuck your shoulders under you, squeeze, take a breath. And then we're gonna twist. So left hand takes that knee, roll all the way onto your left hip, right arm goes straight up to the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, drop that right arm all the way open up to a T. You can always choose to bend that right elbow if there's a big intense stretch in the upper arm. Maybe that feels good. Start to allow your eyes to close here and start to relax in the edges of your body. So feel the left hip relax, the left outer leg resting against the mat in the foot. Feel that right hip relax in your ankle. Feel the low back soften and just let the breath happen here. One more breath. And then we'll switch. Come onto your back. Bring your left knee in. Interlace. Let your right leg go long and then drop it down onto the floor. Tuck your shoulders. Squeeze this left knee in. A little bit out to the shoulder. Full breath. And then we'll twist. Roll all the way onto that right hip with your left, with your right hand holding that left leg. Left arm opens up, reaching up. Exhale, drop it open, out to a T. Gaze over there, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> and just start to melt. Feel your bones get heavy. Feel the muscles around your bones relax. You can let your breath be passive here and just feel your body start to settle down. Notice where your mind goes as the body settles. Maybe the mind starts to run around. Maybe the mind settles too. Right, leading with love and a neutral observation, a playful observation, just noticing. The last couple breaths. And then roll onto your back. <sighs> Bring both knees in. 
Align so you feel straight here. Squeeze those knees in. Start to separate the knees. So hold on to the inner knees, inner thighs, and half straddle it. Rock a little side to side and left to right. And then a happy baby, if that feels good for you. Peace fingers, big toes, or hold on to your ankles, bottoms of your feet up to the ceiling. Rock side to side. Feel that tailbone charge to the floor. Good. And then bring both knees back in. Wrap your arms around, bring your nose up, take a full breath in. And release for your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Let your ankles open a little wider than your hips. And then, you know, tuck the shoulders under you, tuck the hips, rest your arms by your side, palms up or down, whatever feels good. Maybe it feels better to rest your hands on your belly and your heart. And then open mouth, exhale, everything out of the body, get empty. Seal your lips and take the deepest breath in, feel every crevice. Hold the breath at the top, hold it, hold it. Open mouth, exhale, and deflate, melt into the earth, into the support beneath you. Melt into your rest. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to go, except for being here with yourself for just a couple more minutes. So notice what the mind does, observe it, and come back. Find more opportunity to relax with every exhale. And let your bones get heavy. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Smile really big and start bringing movement in, wriggling your fingers and toes. With your big breaths and nice exhales, just feel accomplished and proud of yourselves. Now let's do a full body stretch, reach your toes forward, fingers reaching back, stretch and flex and reach everything and relax. Bend your knees, roll to your side, using your arm as a pillow if that feels good. <sighs> and then use your hands to support you coming up to a seat. Letting your eyes stay closed along the way or closing them when you get there. Sitting tall and strong, long in the back. Take a full breath into your heart. Feel all the way up. And then an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Letting the corners of your mouth lift your ears again to give yourself a well-deserved smile. Happy Monday, body, friends. <laughs> Let's bring our palms together in front of our hearts. 
Remind yourself of your intention here for a moment. And sometimes even when maybe you don't fully believe in this, just keep reminding yourself of this and watch how things change. And watch how your thoughts change, how your demeanor and your attitude changes towards things. Because our thoughts create an immediate emotional response in our bodies. So just name the feelings. Really wonderful mindfulness practice. And we'll rub our palms together, generating heat and energy, going faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And then we'll bring our palms to gently cup over the closed eyes, barely on your face. Take a full breath in to absorb all of that. And then exhale to release your hands down the face, rest your palms in front of your heart again. Believe in yourself and do what you are supposed to. Appreciate yourself, enjoy yourself, and love yourself. From my heart to yours, my friends, namaste.